Hey Cherokee collectors, I think I have a pretty rare one today. It's the Jaguar XJR15. This is basically a street legal race car. As you can see, they, people raced it and it pretty much looks the same. It has racing knockoff center caps, so center nuts. So, all right, well anyways, I got the Cherokee version of it. Yeah, bought it at the local diecast show. Someone actually went and heat shrink this thing. So, let's see if I can cut this without scratching the thing. I can't believe someone went through that effort. Or is that the way it came from Cherokee? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm glad it was done because it looks pretty nice. So, well, let's look at these photographs again. First time is a pretty cool looking car. Huge vent there on the lower side. Yeah, not much of a rear angle. So we have a nice metallic green, and uh, that's the indication of that huge vent, but here it's just a tiny little dent. Nice thin panel gaps here for the door cuts and stuff. This is an older one, so it actually has the Dunlop molded into the tire. These are just standard flashbooks by Churro though. Nice deep vents, but no additional paint sadly. And then the same with the turn signals. And then it's just got a goofy uh, sticker. Uh, say sport type, I think, not prototype. No, it says Sport V12 XJR. Okay, I think the canopy is just, I don't know. No, it is, I think it's darkly smoked. I can, I think I can see the motor gear right there. All right, nice venting here. I'm gonna assume these might be fuel fillers, and then you got a gold black sticker Charo Q up there. This side here is a little, this is where it was torn off the mold. The tires are still nice. The tires are still rubbery. I don't know what that's all about. That's pretty lame. Uh, and then it's got four exhaust pipes, which is cool, but uh, no paint and sadly no paint on the tail lights either. At least it tells you what the car is and it's number eight in some sort of collection. The rear wing seems to be separate. I would have, it says HD 06, high grade 06. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something underneath this sticker. Yeah, we're gonna find out because I gotta take it apart. Wait. I feel like I can feel some lettering there. Yeah. Yeah, duh. So I don't know why that sticker was there. This is number six XGR there. All right, I can clean that up a later time. We're gonna do a wheel swap. This car's so cool I went and 3D printed the original wheels. So we gotta take this out. Let's see if the tab will let it loose. No, I don't think so. There's really no room for that tab to like flex or go anywhere. I'm gonna have to do this one off camera. I could not even wedge a hobby knife in that gap, so I ended up just prying the wheels off and then clipping them while this is all in there. I never took it apart. And now I'm using some poster putty to uh, mount the new wheels here. Yeah, there we go. And then I got blue on this side, like the photograph. So it's pretty rare to have British cars by Cherokee, so I only have a few. Here's an Austin Mini Cooper. This is a really old casting as well. Uh, let's see if I can read the date on this super chrome bottom. It's so chrome, I can't even see. Hold on, I gotta look it off camera. 2001 is what it said on the bottom. I have some Hot Wheels wheels on there. This is another rare one, a TVR Tuscan. And it's actually got printing on the license plate. I believe this is a Tuscan. It's hard to read the clear base. I don't think it says. It just says TVR there. I'm not sure what the significance of that license plate is. It's got a cool interior, little seats and stuff. 
And then we do have a Lotus Esprit. Uh, this is a nice one, of course, uh, with the John Player Special kind of livery going on. And it also has pop-up lights here with this little switch on the bottom. But it's very gappy, so that's why I always leave them in the up position. Although I don't recall these wheels being on a Lotus. I don't know if they're from a different mold or what. So that's it for the British cars from Churro Q. So I'm just going to throw up three other random cars one would never think they would make. This is a Peugeot Quasar. This is a concept car. It was a really cool concept car back in the day. I 3D printed my own wheels though. The Lancia Stratos Turbo Group 5 Racer. I pre 3D printed these wheels as well. This one's quite old, I think. 1980 it says. Actually the Quasar says 1987. I painted the taillights, added some paint to that one. And then Porsches are common, but not, not a 924 Turbo. So this is from 2001. So some British and some weird random castings, which is cool. You know, I like that Joe Q will go down these random, random castings, right? So it's nice. So today is pretty good. I mean, for its time, I think it's a pretty good toy. By today's standards, it's not so good at all, but uh, I can account for the age of it. And someone was nice enough to heat shrink the thing and keep it in pristine condition. So that's Fat Tony from The Simpsons. I downloaded a free print file. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Cherokee video.